Ooh. Whisper can do it. <laughs> am I limited by time? Oh god, what am I doing? Oh, she's fixing the bridge. Keep out the stress. Hi, lady. Hey, the bridge works fine. Good enough for me. Watch your step, kid. Oh, thanks. I know it ain't fancy, but it'll have to work for now. Amaya Blackstone, nice to meet you. Graham, the pleasure's mine. It's nice to see all these bridges are getting fixed. All these bridges? No, kid. This contract is over. Daventry can't afford me anymore. They can't even afford oil for the crumbler over there. My own invention, of course. Oh, what does a crumbler do? It lifts, it chops, it crumbles. Most importantly, it brings in the monies which are desperately needed. Been kind of rough around here lately. It seems that way. Daventry's been an interesting experience so far. Different from what I read in my travel books. Honestly, I'm starting to wonder if it's for me. Don't worry, kid. It's not you. This kingdom's been going downhill ever since the Queen died. Oh. And now, with the bridges out, no one can get into Daventry. It's really quiet. I hate the silence. I'm a woman of action, if you couldn't tell. Quiet towns don't pay the bills. I can see that. Well, I should get going. Perhaps someone's wandered into my shop. If you make it there, come say hi. I'm on the left. She seems nice. Keep out. Under construction. It's a very crudely made sign, but hey, if it works. Caution. Bees and distress. <laughs> We're still dealing with that. Caution. Bees Oops. and distress. Okay, so now we can go this way into the town. Sweet. So, how did you find an eye? Excuse me? It was a hideous beast lurking inside. Ouch! A rude! Can we buy an eye? Because when they say it like that, it makes it sound like you have to hunt for a hideous beast, but if we could buy an eye from a potion shop or something... Shame. And these could have been carved into really nice jack-o'-lanterns. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that pumpkin was housing two Many squirrels for my taste. That's odd. Hey, I lost my ticket. Pick, pick, pickety pick. West Tournament Theater, North Town Square, South Under Development coming next spring. Oh, what are you doing? I have to get these old picks before I can go home. Leave me be so I can finish my work. Sorry. This goes back here. Hey, wait. No! This is a new area. Oh, can I please blow that horn? Oh! A new kind of horn, but the same result. Is that gonna be a running joke? The horn reeked of toothpaste and cabbage. Ew. Luckily, those were flavors I like. Ew. Mmm, <laughs> so toothpasty, so cabbagey. Yep. I blew on that horn <laughs> five times. Make it a six. Well, six times. Oh, don't tempt me. After a while, I lost count of how many times I blew on that horn. Then I remembered I blew the horn at least eight times. <laughs> I should get a trophy, or an achievement, for how many times I blew on that horn. 
Thank you! <laughs> That's really... Oh my goodness. I continued to blow on that horn, but my mind was silent. Oh, there's nothing else. Well, we've been playing with this for too long, so... Let's get out of here. Oh. That's pretty. Wherever you are hiding, hideous beasts, Whisper will find you. <laughs> okay. Do squirrels count as hideous? Don't take acorn squirrel, okay? Come into the daylight, you hideous beasts. There's nothing here. Whisper can do it. I was too slow to catch those frogs. Oh, that's a hideous beast. How come Whisper... Quiet about Whisper? Yeah, how come Whisper doesn't... Are you kidding me? He could totally just get this. It's pretty nice. Anything we could get the frog Whisper with? The were invented. Doesn't look like it. I Aww. tried again, but it was no use. Third time's a charm? Did I ever tell you about the time I tried to catch a frog? It was riveting. Oh, God. <laughs> Grandpa. Well, at least until we do something about our speed. Doesn't look like we're getting the frog. <laughs> Bye, Whisper. Good to see that our competitors aren't doing too much better, though. That's always good to see. <laughs> oh, are you still getting... Yep. And we haven't been here yet. Town Square. Whoa! Uh, how precious. The badger wanted to make friends with the squirrels. Oh, uh, okay. What about over here? Get out of here! Scram! Shoot! Beat it! Oh, thank goodness. Ah! <sighs> These dumb lanterns are always breaking. You hear that, Chester? You're a hack! Not everyone around here takes pride in their work like I do. Unfortunately, those blue flames are the only things that spook the pack. So I'm forced to return to their shop of wizardry and toiletries. Wedzel wolves are super aggressive this time of year. Usually, they travel north to the hills of Serenia for mating season. But like us, they are stranded here until the bridges are fixed. Hey, kid, can you do me a favor? I can try. Can you help me keep that back door closed? I run the local Wedzel Wolf Watch program here in town. There's patches getting made. If you keep that door closed, you can be an official member. Think it over. Patches! That's why there's scratches on the door, because the wolves were trying to come in, and I, I opened the door. I walked into town with my last coin. Whatever path I chose to pursue for my eye would need to be cheap. Ooh. I can look around first, right? Well, let's try to go to the potion shop first. So the wolves are scared of blue flame. Whoa. This is shady. <sighs> you aren't the delivery boy, are you? That merchant is usually so prompt with our air, miraculous, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Oh, horse feathers, Chester. This boy's no courier. He desires a position in King Edward's court. He's a thinking soul just like us. If he continues down this path, he will have no trouble defeating the contenders in this year's night tournament. Zounds! Did you just read my fortune? No, we're just very old and very judgmental people. It's true, we're judges. This is my judging face. Ariel and I don't read fortunes anymore. Yep, there was no future in it. Well, we've shifted our core business to potions, curiosities, and the occasional practical joke. <laughs> uh, we gladly share our wisdom for free, but everything else starts at one shiny gold coin. Take a look around, boy. Let us know if you like anything you see. 
One coin. I really wish I had more. Something mysterious and magical was brewing in that pot. Mmm, something magical would be good for deception, maybe. Oh. It looked like some type of broken lantern. The blue flame. Ooh, what are these little guys? Those Up are bird kicks. bombs. Our own invention. Kind of like a smoke bomb, but they release gas that will cause your victim to cluck like a chicken. <laughs> Temporarily, of course. Those ones are expired, though, so they're just for display. Can I have them? I mean, if they're expired, you don't need them anymore, right? Ooh, what are these little oh. guys? Those are bird bombs. Okay. Our own invention. Kinda like a smoke bomb, but they release gas that will cause your victim to cluck like a chicken. <laughs> Temporarily, of course. Those ones are expired though, so they're just for display. Fair enough. Let's get out of here then. Do you sell anything? Ah! We can't go here anymore. It reminds me of our son. <sighs> I always miss him this time of year. He dreamed of becoming a knight, too. I wish he would visit more. Or at least right. He was quite handy around the shop, though. Especially with potions. He'll return. He just has some adventures of his own to seek. Hmm. Yes. Oh. So... I've just got to know, what is brewing in that cauldron? Is it a transfiguration elixir? Is it an invincibility potion? If I drink it, will I understand the language of creatures? Will I sprout <laughs> the wings of an eagle? Or a fly? Oh, this? Teeth whitening potion. Oh, it's going to change everything. Watch this. Behold the power of whitening. Oh, uh. well. Oh, well. <laughs> We're still working out the kinks. <laughs> While we're still in the prototype phase, feel free to dip whatever you want in there free of charge. Oh, that's nice. Do you have any eyes of hideous beasts in stock? An eye, you say? Yes, yes. Uh, your name, please? Uh, it's Graham. Last name? Graham. Graham. Graham <laughs> with a G, I assume. I don't see your name on this list. Oh, you did pre-order, right? Uh, what? Pre-order? Oh, yes, this time of year our eyes fly off the shelves. If you haven't pre-ordered, you're out of luck. Our eyes are completely on back order. If you'd like, we can put you on the waiting list for our next shipment. When will that arrive? We get shipments every eight months. <laughs> I'm afraid that won't work. Well, hang on a sec. It's Graham, right? May we bend your ear for a bit? Bend away. You need an eye for the tournament, I'm guessing. Yes, I have always dreamed of becoming a knight. Why? With Daventry's addendums this and proclamations that, it seems a frightful business. Do you have any idea how many royal guards we lose to that voracious moat monster? Well, my father was a knight, and my grandfather was a knight, and my great-grandfather... Well, he was a dentist, but his <laughs> father was a knight. Basically, I come from a long line of protecting crowns. I started looking for knight jobs while I was still in the academy, but once I graduated, all the opportunities had dried up. Same. I might not fit in here, but Daventry's my last shot. Oh, you'll fit in just fine. It might be too late to capture the rule-defined eye of a hideous beast, but rules will bend for those who can outsmart the rule-makers. Ooh, I don't know about that. Let's think about it for now, but not do anything about that. Ooh, how much for that candle? Our everlasting blue flame lantern? The housing's broken. Someone brought it in for repair, but never paid. Tell you what, if you bring us something we can hollow out to house the candle, you can have it for the price of one shiny gold coin. One coin. Fare thee well. May your quest... Be logic field. <laughs> well, that's the potion makers, but I'm sure the bakery and the blacksmith will have equally something nice to offer me. So let's check them out. Oh, they might be angry about that bread. Who 
Hello there, and good afternoon. If I do say so myself, sometimes you roll the dice, and they all come up wenty. Even though the bridges are out, and my supplier has gone missing, I sold yesterday's bread when I wasn't even here. Oh, I wish more people were that trustworthy around Daventry. Now, you fine strapping lad, how may I help you? Should I tell him? Yes, lad. Got any free samples? Oh, today only. I'm letting people sample our new walnut strudel. However, I ran out of bitter root. Oh. It's really nasty on its own, but it really brings out the nutty flavor of the strudel. It usually grows under big, heavy rocks. If you can find me some, you can have all the free samples you want. Great, that's free. That's not a delicious, chocolate, hideous beast side cake I smell cooking, is it? <laughs> Looking for an eye, are you? Well, it must be that time of year again. Frankly, I can't tolerate it. The Fays weren't raised that way. It's archaic! So much fighting and needless killing! Compassion comes from the heart, you know? As does food! If you want to get to the heart of any problem, all you need is pie! I know it doesn't sound logical, but I believe that we need to stop thinking with our heads and start opening our hearts. Hmm. What's today's special? <laughs> oh, well, today I am baking up quite the treat. Grandma's star shroom pie, a delicacy big enough to feed an army. Or someone with the appetite of an army. I've eaten it in one sitting before. Wow. Well, don't judge. No one would trust a skinny baker, now would they? Unfortunately, <laughs> my ingredients haven't been delivered. But I can't complete the recipe. Until those bridges get fixed, people will just have to settle for the love in my goat hoof pie instead. Ah, tell you what. If you can find me some starberries and sugar shrooms, you can have this monster pie for the discounted price of one gold coin oh but how do i know what's good oh good day have a sweet day oh we didn't ask him about where we can find the ingredients but i assume we'll come across them sometime the sign read ask us about our free samples we need to find bitter root for that let's ask about the location figure out what you want so, where can I find the ingredients for that giant pie? I'll also need one gold coin. What? But, which ingredient? Never mind. Never mind. That's a little much, don't you think? Good day. Aren't you glad you came here today? Oh, God. Oh, I wish I could tell him I was the one who bought the pie. No, not the pie, the bread. Was he trying to set the record for the world's biggest pie? Maybe. What about the blacksmith? I'm sure she'll give me a good deal. We kind of kind of know each other, sort of. Hey, Graham. If you like sharp things, you've come to the right place. We have over 23. Oh, forgive me. Oh, Last made me night yawn. was a little rough. I woke up on the floor. My bed nowhere to be found. Can what? Can you believe that? What type of Yahoo steals a bed while you're sleeping in it? And the most curious part, nothing else is missing. Anyway, take a look around. Let me know if something piques your interest. That's really weird. Hey, she doesn't have the shield anymore. Back away from the crumbler. Unless you have 50 gold coins for a work order. How much for that twisty dagger over there? It's not for sale. Needs a bit more work. Hmm. Oops! Oh no! Do you have any free samples? Hey, Graham. Hey! You can post a work order on anything you want lifted, chopped, or crumbled. Then I'll bring out Mrs. Crumbler to fulfill the order. Mrs. Crumbler. 
Hello. Do you have any idea where I can hunt down an eye of a hideous beast? What a glorious day for a tournament. My favorite time of year. Fire ride new recruits, the clanks and clinks of armor clashing, and the action the very finest. One hopeful always rises to the occasion. I love it all. Yeah. Some people in town, they complain about the barbaric events, but it's a tradition I'm proud to be a part of. If I was competing, I'd go after the biggest, scariest beast I could find, even if it meant certain death. As they say, fortune favors the bold. You, on the other hand, look like you spend a lot of time in your head, <laughs> trying to figure out all the possibilities before making a move. Pick a plan and go. Too much time thinking leads to inaction, and inaction is just boring. Fair enough. So, I've been meaning to ask, what is that amazing blade for? Is it for battling vicious werebears? How many ice orcs has it slain? Does it deal justice? Is it road legal? Is it made of fear? <laughs> oh, that? No, no, that's for gardening. What? I use it to trim my hedges. Seeing as my place is all tended to, and my petunias are most lovely, I'm willing to part with it for the price of one shiny gold coin. I'm sure you've got a prickly situation that needs attending. Sharp blade. Hey, can we go back to that place with the well? Huh. Bye. Trust that gut of yours. Well, there's still a few places we haven't looked around yet, so... Maybe we should walk around and try to find the ingredients. Especially for the bitter root, because we can get free samples. So this is Town Square. And how did we end up in here? Yup, we still haven't gone this way yet. Ooh. What's this? No one should notice one bell missing. Wow! Small bell. King Edward gave us everything we have. His legacy was tarnished in his later years, but he was a once great man. And he left me with a daven tree to grow into the kingdom it is today. Hmm. It's, it's kind of interesting that we know that this guy, Graham, eventually becomes the king, but right now, it's not looking likely that it's gonna turn out that way at all. So, I guess this is really about Graham's journey into becoming a king. The announcement board was covered until round two of the tournament. Okay. Ooh, there's a lot of different paths. Let's go this way first. What can we use the bell for? Oh! I better stand on this side of the rock. It grows under large rocks. What was it? It wouldn't budge. One of the ingredients. One of the ingredients grow. Here. Ring the bell. That didn't need a <laughs> bell. I'll come back for you. Ah, oh, I don't have a hatchet. Oh my god. Huh, what a peculiar trap. Oh, okay. That's weird. Uh... Is there a hole in the middle there? Maybe I don't want to fall down the hole, you know? I'll come back to that in a little bit. Let me try to look around first. Fantastical floating island! Only steps away! It's so floaty! You'll be amazed! World's greatest floating island. Almost there! World's greatest, and only, floating island. Okay. Don't turn right. No floating islands that way. Okay. Well, I mean, that's a little... Ooh! Starberries framed a serene view. Shame about that buzzing beehive, though. That's one of the ingredients we need. My love. You're my everything. I might not have enough money for a ring yet, but I just can't wait any longer. Will you be mine forever? I better put this back. 
Aw, someone's made a picnic here to propose. That might not be a good idea. Bees! I ruled the bees' day. <laughs> that lovely meal. Oh no! All because I wanted some berries. I tucked the berries away for later, even though I was craving a cliffside snack. Oh, I feel like we've probably made someone very angry with this. Oh no, can we get rid of them somehow? That didn't need a bell. <laughs> I never waste food. Oh, I'm really sorry. Okay, well, on to the floating island. Kids, don't stop screaming until Dad pulls over the wagon. Whoa. Hang on. Oh, thought those were special. This was on my bucket list. Oh, it's closed. Oh, they don't even give me any messages anymore. <laughs> well, we're not getting over there, it doesn't seem like. Unless if we could magically get around. And it doesn't seem like the case. Hmm. So we came here and we found the starberries. But in the process of the whole thing, I ruined someone's proposal meal. That's kind of awful. We haven't gone this way yet. Ooh! Whoa. Oh! You just pranced into a dark cave filled with vicious wolves? You know, I'm not sure. Maybe I should pause for reflection. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I need. I need the lantern. Okay, so this is a bad idea. Don't go in there. Oh, hi, Acorn. Don't worry. The Wedzels will be here soon, Princess Madeline. They're right there. There's a whole cave full of them. Ooh. What the heck is this? Uh... Oh! That's the unicorn! I wasn't always the master archer you see before you now. How'd you learn? <laughs> we'll get to that part. We need a chaga for this. What about that thing over there? Oh, I can't do this. Just not good enough. Hmm... Is a Chaka around? Doesn't seem like it. Well, he's probably around here somewhere. Just don't know where. And this here. I'm certain there's a trap. Should I just go in? What is that? Oh. All right, sugar shrooms. Wow. All right. That was unexpected. Cool. Someone set a trap here to try to catch a wolf or something. No, nope, we came from that way. But we haven't been over here. So now we have the ingredients for the bakery guy, I think. I'll have to confirm. 